Well, let's look at configuring basic RIP routing on Cisco routers. So let's start with a basic setup. I've got a basic setup. No routers have any configuration on them. They're just host names and that's it. But they have lines connected to them. So I want to configure first the IP addresses and then configure RIP routing. So I start by going into my privilege mode and then from there to my global configuration mode. You can see the first interface, or the only interface, G0 size 0, goes across to router 2. And you can see it is 192.168.0.0 slash 24 as the network. So I will assign an IP address on interface. So I do int G0 size 0, IP address 192.168.0.0.1. With a mask of 255.255.255.0. And in order to get the interface to work, I need to do a no shutdown. Now it is active on this side of the line, but not on the other side. So I'm going to set up IP addresses first. Go to the next one. Let's turn right here. It has two interfaces, 00 and 01. So call T int g0 slash 0 and I'll assign IP address on this one as well IP address 192.168.0.2255.255.255.0 and no shut down that one's now active and I can even ping it so I can do a do ping ping 192.168.0.1 and ping the other side. You'll usually notice the first ping or two will not hit, but then after that it goes through. Now I'll do the other interface. So int g0 slash 1. And over here I will activate this interface as well. So IP address 192.168.1.2. Dot and do 255.255.255.0 and no shut down. So that one is activate, uh, activated on this side. Now I jump over to the last router. It has a G0 slash 1 as its only interface. So I'll do comp T in G0 slash 1 and I'll assign it the IP address of 192.168.1.3255.255.255.0 and no shut down. So we can do a do ping 192.168.1.2, which would be the R2 router in the middle. And if I try pinging the first router, it seems like it should work, right? But it doesn't because, well, it can't get there. It doesn't know where to send it. So, control shift 6 exit out of that. Now I need to set up a routing protocol. So what I do, if I, uh, well first, if I look at my routing protocol, I can do show IP route, and I can see that there are no, no routing protocols in place, no dynamic routing protocols in place, just my static, statically or configured interfaces are showing up. So I go back in global configuration mode and I go into that inner, uh, well, from global configuration mode, I do router rip. Now at this point I can do rip version two. I can do regular rip. Let's just do regular rip just to get the basics down. And inside of rip, I need to tell it what networks I'm directly connected to. So I go network 192.168.1.0. It doesn't need a mask because, well, RIP was made before you had these classless subnets and stuff like that. So I just put the network in here and I'm done. I go to the next router. This one right here. I exit out of the interface and now I tell it which two networks it's connected to. So I do router RIP and I do network 192.168.0.0 and 1.0. At this point, it should be able to start exchanging information with its neighbors. 
and it does that every once in a while with a broadcast. Then I go to the last one. So exit out interface mode, and then I do router rip, and then it only has one network it's connected to, which is the 192.168.0.0. If I immediately skip out and show my IP route, the route, I will, well, I was too slow. You can see that the route has already come across, but it sends it every 30 seconds, so if I do it too quickly, then I won't see, well, I won't really see anything because it won't be across. At this point, I should be able to ping all the way across the other side. So I can do a ping 192.168.1.3, ping all the way across. And if I want to see how it got there, I can do a trace route all the way there as well. And this is how you configure basic rip routing, your basic dynamic routing protocol.